Anyway, introverts, we are highly motivated and we are capable of working independently. Our reflective nature allows us to set clear goals and develop detailed plans in achieving them. And not only that, but our why, whatever it is that we're in business for, whatever our personal goals are that drive us as an entrepreneur are vital that they call it, what's your why? So that's like, why am I in business? Why am I doing this? Hey there, it's me, Stefan Burchard, the Bowtie Coach with your latest episode of the Networking Made Simple podcast. Networking Made Simple is an exploration of networking and social business connections for entrepreneurs, but especially introverted entrepreneurs like me. It has taken me 24 years to get to the place where I'm comfortable to be on camera or a microphone or in front of people. My journey is far from over. I have the same challenges I've always had as an introvert. I've just learned how to leverage those introverted traits into positive tools for building business relationships. This podcast is an exploration and sharing of those 24 years of experience, mistakes, and learnings. I will alternate between sharing from my own experiences and interviewing other entrepreneurs to learn from their journey. I hope you enjoy this episode. In this episode, I want to share with you about understanding introverts, five myths. This is one of my favorite things to talk about. So we're going to break down the misconceptions about being an introvert and discussing what being an introvert really means in various aspects of our lives and our businesses. So first up is introverts lack leadership skills. Well, <laughs> why is this fooey? Introverts can be exceptional leaders. They usually excel at deep thinking, listening, and building meaningful relationships. These traits enable them to understand team dynamics and making thoughtful, informed decisions. So deep thinkers and people that can relate, that's really important as a leader because there's a lot of leaders out there. They don't listen and they're not worried about being connected with people and knowing whether or not they connect and whether they understand what they're communicating about as well as listening. Good leaders know how to listen. So how can we leverage this? Well, embrace your introvert nature. Great leadership style grounded in empathy and long-term vision. Use your ability to listen and connect. Myth number two, introverts are poor communicators. Well, I kind of just touched on that. While we may prefer smaller groups or one-on-one -on -one interactions, this doesn't equate to poor communication. In fact, introverts, we usually excel not only with written communication, but conveying our messages with clarity and precision, whether it's in writing or verbally. So once we can get past our first, you know, being confronted with speaking in public or one-to-one -one or whatever it is, we're good at expressing ourselves and communicating what it is that we think, need, or desire. How can we leverage this? Well, utilize your strength in communication, first of all, written communication first. Use that for emails and reports and proposals and also consider it when you're texting. Texting is just another form of communication. And again, when we are communicating, we want the other person to know that we understood them, that we understood what they're asking us, that we understood what their problem is. They want to be understood first. And that is the most important thing we can do through active listening, which is mirroring back what it is that the person just said in front of you or the question they asked. Mirroring that back to them lets them know, yeah, they freaking got me. They listened to me. Myth number three, introverts hate and avoid networking. Well, that can be true. I know some days where I don't want to go out and network, but it's so valuable and I usually feel much better after I do get out and go network with people. But the long story short, introverts don't really enjoy large crowded events, but we can get great at forming deep, authentic connections. Smaller is not necessarily better, but it is easier to open up in more intimate settings, is it not? So our preference for meaningful interactions, it leads us to have more stronger, loyal relationships and connections with people. So how can we leverage this? Well, we focus on quality over quantity. So at a networking event, the goal would be to connect with one or two people, not 20 people. That's just number one, it's impossible. But at a regular, uh, some kind of a networking event, just focus on making one, maybe two quality connections and choose to follow up with them. How can you do that? Well, you ask good questions. And that way you'll get an intuition about somebody, whether it's somebody you want to build a relationship with or not. Are you feeling overwhelmed lately, frazzled and unproductive? Well, you're not alone. This is where coaching can come into play. 
As your bowtie coach, I specialize in helping introverted entrepreneurs navigate these waters. Together, we can tailor a self-care and business strategy that fits your unique personality and business goals, ensuring you don't just survive, but thrive. Click the link below to get a discovery call time with me, and let's explore together. Bye. Okay, myth number four. This is one of them. It, it feels like a joke that introverts lack drive or initiative. <laughs> Anyway, introverts, we are highly motivated and we are capable of working independently. Our reflective nature allows us to set clear goals and develop detailed plans in achieving them. And not only that, but our why, whatever it is that we're in business for, whatever our personal goals are that drive us as an entrepreneur are vital that they call it, what's your why? So that's like, why am I in business? Why am I doing this? Um, for me, I want to retire in style. <laughs> that's basically what I want to do. So how can we leverage this? Well, we capitalize on our natural ability to work independently and focus. We are really good at focusing. So having a quiet environment allows us to really bang out some good work. I do a lot of creative work in the quiet of my home, when I say creative work, I mean like writing content, recording content, whatever. It allows me to focus, to be really hyper-focused. So I turn off all the notifications on phones, email, I exit anything and everything that could quite distract me and I just go for it. <laughs> anyway, you have to find your own way to stay focused and work towards your goals. Myth number five, introverts cannot handle pressure. <laughs> this is another one that I th thought was a joke, just like the last one. So why is this incorrect? Well, many of us are adept at managing stress and pressure because A, we're not necessarily naturally comfortable in open groups and networking. So we have to manage that stress. We have to manage that pressure when we're in those meetings. So Outside of that, we're really good at reflecting. We're really good at emotional regulation. So we often stay pretty freaking calm and composed in challenging situations. I know I sure can. It's taken me a long time to get there where I could regulate my emotions, but it is possible. So how can we leverage this? Well, we just lean into that calm demeanor and navigate these when we want to navigate these high pressure situations. So we just lean into that calm, clear thinking and we just maintain that stress. And it's amazing what can come out of the head. So long story short, us introverts, we possess a unique strength that can be an asset in being an entrepreneur. By understanding and leveraging these traits, we can debunk the myths and thrive as entrepreneurs. Remember, it's about playing to our strengths and turning perceived weaknesses into advantages. If you'd like to learn more about Networking Made Simple, make sure to subscribe and please leave us a review. You may also want to enjoy my YouTube channel. You may also enjoy our YouTube channel at Bowtie Coach. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you on our next episode. Bye.